In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to live stream your Zoom meetings to places like YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitter, and more, all at the same time. Okay, so to get started, you'll need to have a ProZoom account for this method to work. I'm also going to be using Restream.io to take the Zoom calls and stream it live to my social media sites like Twitter and Facebook Live. If you don't have a Restream account yet, there's a link down in the description that gives you $10 off any of their plans and 55% off their standard plan, so definitely check that out. Also, if you are new to Restream and you want to find out more about what Restream can do, this video is actually part of a three-part series, so check out the other videos. I'll link those in the description below too. The first thing you're going to need to do is log into your Zoom account and then go to the settings option. And once you're in there, click on the in meeting advanced option and that will scroll the page down. Keep scrolling until you see the allow live streaming of meetings options. And you need to have all four of those selected, but most importantly, you need custom live streaming service selected because that's what's going to allow us to push a feed from Zoom to Restream and then using Restream to distribute to all of the social sites that you want your Zoom meeting live stream to. Once you've done that, you can log in and go over to your Restream dashboard and start adding those sites like YouTube and Facebook. There's, those are the two that I've added here, but if we click on the Add Channels button, you can see with Restream, you can stream to a whole number of sites. We've got Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube Live, Periscope and Twitter Live, LinkedIn, if you've got that enabled, and then a whole bunch, some I've never even heard of before, but you can they've got a load of sites that you can live stream to. Also, and I'll tell you how I'm using this in a second, but you've got the option if you have a paid plan to go and stream to a custom RTMP endpoint as well. And if I go back, you'll actually see I'm using that for Facebook because when I do my Facebook lives to a page, I actually like to use the Facebook Live producer console that it gives you because it gives you a bit more control about when the broadcast starts and also you've got a few more settings in there. Uh, it gives you the URL and the stream key and you just basically take those two bits of details and add it in here. You go to the custom RTMP and add those in there. And what that will do, it will mean that even though you've toggled on, and I'll talk about these toggles in a second, even though you've started sending a stream from Restream to the Facebook producer, it doesn't actually go live on Facebook until you hit the start broadcast button down there. So that's why I like using custom RTMP for that. Now, as I say, one thing that I always advise people to do when using Restream, before you start sending a feed from Zoom or any other place into Restream, have these toggles off because if they're not uh, and you're using an API like I am here for YouTube, as soon as you start pushing the feed from your destination, uh, from your, your source, it will also start the live broadcast on all your social platforms as well. That's just a little side note. So uh, once you've added all of your social platforms, I've just got two in here for now, we need to do one more thing, which is we need to get the actual ingest URL. So we need to tell Zoom where to send its feed to for Restream. So to do that, within Restream, we're just going to click this button here that says RTMP settings. And that's going to give us our stream URL and stream key that we need to uh, put into Zoom. So I'm just going to copy the first line. I click on that and it copies to my clipboard. And now we're going to go back to our Zoom settings. And this time we're going to scroll all the way up to the top and click on meetings. Now I've already scheduled a meeting in here, which is my live stream test that I need to put these settings in, but it does work for your personal room as well. You can just go over to personal room, click on live streaming, and then you would edit and, and paste these settings in here. But as I say, I've got an upcoming scheduled meeting, so I'm gonna go into that, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then I'm going to click configure live streaming settings. And this is where I'm gonna paste that data from Restream. So I've got the URL, go back to Restream, copy the stream key, and I'm gonna paste that into there and then this last one the live streaming url is just asking for where is the live stream going to be going to be because um, it allows viewers to actually click this link so for now i'm just going to go to my youtube page and use that as the url uh, so there we go we'll just copy that url and we'll paste that in here hit save and that has now enabled live streaming for that particular scheduled meeting and that's pretty much all of the setup done. We can now test it out. So I'm going to launch Zoom here and I'm going to start the session, the li Zoom live stream test session. And I'm just going to use my standard Mac webcam here, join with my computer audio 
as you would normally do on a Zoom call. And to start live streaming from Zoom to Restream, super simple. Just click the three dots, the more button down in the bottom, and then click live on custom live streaming service. That will open up a little preparation page uh, as Zoom gets ready to live stream. You can actually close that and go back to Zoom. And you can see it in the top left-hand corner, it says live on custom live streaming service. Now we can go over to Restream and we should be able to see, yep, our feed appears there. It is a 720p, that's what Zoom pushes out. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, which I find quite annoying, is it does leave a Zoom watermark in the bottom right-hand corner. I've been through all the settings and despite having a paid account, I can't seem to find a way to remove it. I've seen if you have an enterprise account, you can replace that logo with your own logo, but on a standard paid account, I can't see any way to remove it. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments because I would love to know. Um, so we've got a feed going in. We can see all the stats for it. It looks fine. Now, as I say, because we've got these toggles off, it's not actually going to those sites yet, which is good. We've got that air of control. So at this stage, what I like to do is just make sure it is about to go to the right places. So I'm gonna go into my settings for the YouTube first and click edit settings. And a quick tip here, one of the things that I like to do when using the YouTube with Restream is I actually go into and set up the event and the scheduled event within the, rest uh, the YouTube studio first, get it all how I like, so in this case, I've actually set the event to private. Uh, and then once you've done that, it will actually appear, if you go to event, you can see it appears there and we can select it rather than just have Restream create the event for you. You've got a lot more control if you create it within the YouTube studio first and then uh, just select it here within Restream. So that is fine for YouTube. Now we're ready to start pushing. Now I'm gonna show you the two differences between the API uh, method, which I've used for YouTube and a custom R RTMP. So I'll I'll turn on Facebook first and you can see here it will start sending out a feed it will say sending data and now we can go over to the live producer in Facebook it says connecting to live video and if we scroll up we can get a bigger preview there it is we're getting our feed within Facebook at this point you know we could go over to the stream health check that it all looks good but more importantly we could set the we can set the title set the description and hit start test or it would say start broadcast for you and once you've done that your Zoom call will be live on Facebook. So uh, I'll tell you what, why don't we get that going? And that's what I mean about having that air of control using custom RTMP, because we've got to do this last step of actually starting the broadcast within Facebook itself. Even though we toggled it on in Restream, that's just sending it to the back end. And now we can see we've actually got a broadcast going within, uh, within Facebook and it's streaming to a page. So that's Facebook started. Now let's go over and get YouTube. And this is where it differs when you use an API because actually, even though if I go into my YouTube dashboard here, even though I've got auto start disabled, because we're using the API, as soon as I toggle this on in Restream, it will start the broadcast. Uh, so let's do that now. I'm gonna make sure for one last time that it's set to private and then uh, toggle that on. And we'll wait for it to say sending data. Great, we'll go over here. YouTube's been funny, so let's see. Yep, excellent connection, but then it, it does this thing, just refresh the page, and then everything will be back to normal. There we go. So we can see we've got an excellent connection, and the stream has started. We know that because we've got an end stream button now. Um, and we will, in a second, see a preview of our Zoom call. There it is. I can actually click the share button and uh, open up the standard YouTube watch page to confirm that it is going out live. Yep. There it is. So we've got it on, on YouTube. There it is on Facebook Live as well. So those two locations there it's streaming to. And as I say, with Restream, we're just pushing to two destinations right now. If we click, click on Add Channel, we could go to all of these destinations, including LinkedIn, Twitter as well, Twitch if we wanted to. And it's a really easy and simple way of taking your Zoom call and having multiple guests within there and distributing it to multiple social platforms to increase your reach. Now, when it comes to stopping the broadcast, do everything in the reverse. So to stop the YouTube, we can just toggle this, this button within Restream. And you'll see if I toggle it off and we go to the Restream dashboard, uh, we go to the YouTube dashboard, it automatically ends the broadcast for us and gives us our stats. So we don't have to do anything more with YouTube. But for Facebook, we've got to go back into that producer console and end the broadcast first. And once it's ended within the producer console, this is just because I'm using the custom RTMP. If you've used the Facebook API, you won't need to do this. So it's ended. Now we can stop 
sending a stream from Restream to Facebook. And now the only thing that's left to do is go back into our Zoom call and we can stop sending a feed from Zoom to Restream and we can confirm. And you just do that by clicking the three dots at the bottom and then hit stop live streaming. We can confirm that that's no longer getting a feed because our little preview and our stats have gone. So we're, we're just in a normal Zoom call now. It's not being streamed anywhere. And it couldn't be easier, but it's a really simple and effective way of taking your Zoom calls where you might have multiple guests and uh, distributing them to multiple platforms. So there we have it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. That really helps. Also, if you're new here and you liked this video and want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. 50% of you haven't, by the way, but that's how you find out when my new videos do drop. And of course, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll read through them, reply to as many of those as possible. And also, if you've got more detailed questions about maybe your setups and you want some advice from me, I do offer one-to-one -one consulting. So if you want to shoot me an email and uh, set up one of those sessions, my email address is on the screen now or it's over in the About section on my YouTube page. Once you've done all that, guys, I'll see you on the next one.